Hi there, it's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Welcome back. So this is another part in the botanicals and this is doing something with the single uh, pages from the Wild Flowers by Margaret Wilson. I managed to take the rest of the um, pages out in double ones and the, the single ones I did cut out. So I've kind of decided because the nice both sides um but i've decided which side i am going to be using um i think they might just want a little bit of trimming because i <laughs> did do them with my scissors and i'm gonna make some into tags and some into pockets but first, I've got these two. This is actual the cover and it's shiny, which is fine. I, I don't want to throw it away. And then this was the, the front cover. So I'm hoping that I've got a label what is big enough to put over the top. It's a little bit too big. I'm not keen on that. I think they're like the biggest ones. That could work. It's not big enough. And I like that because of the, the black and that round there. I'm not sure about that one. Prefer that one. So I'm thinking I'm just going to stick those over. So <coughs> um, they've not got those on. Don't know what I'm going to use these for. I just wanted to, you know, keep them so they was usable. Um, and I can just keep them in my stash then. So I'm also going to, I think I'm going to back them. What could I use them for? I mean, I could have used it as a cover for something, something else, I suppose. Just make sure that's straight. I think that's okay and then I'm gonna just ink around it like so so yeah I don't know what I could use it for but it seems a shame. I mean, sometimes I, I do do giant um, journal cards. I suppose it could be a giant journal card. So I'm just going to back it. Let's um, stick this one on as well. So yeah, this is one of the first videos that you've caught. Um, I'm doing a botanical series and at the moment I'm actually making embellishments but at the same time I'm going through my stash that I've already got of things that I can get ready um, to use. So in kits we have... Um, Plain, you know, plain envelopes and postcards and bits for ephemera and things like that. So I'm going to decorate those, um, like guest checks and 
all the things that need a bit of something to to decorate and I had got some um you know our finished tags what I've done with book pages and things like that so yeah I'm just going through my stash and just having half an hour and seeing what what we can get decorated so they can move from the um, need something done pile to the ready to use pile because um, I've got three tubs on the go one is finish things one is need something doing um, and the other is need something doing so I want to get it down to, to two tubs which are both finished finished tubs <laughs> so I thought if I do this at, at the same time as I'm making embellishments and things um, I'm going to have a, a decent stash to start making some botanical things so yeah this does need something else but for me now until I use it I think that is it it's done you know I'm going to call it I'm calling it done so that's that um that's not not gonna fit on there is it oh it is oh that's deceiving yeah very deceiving so i shall just glue this down Normally to make jumbo tags, um, I'll do it with kit paper. So pages that I've got left over, I'll perhaps, you know, put them in half and use half a page. Just cut it down just a little bit. And then that can be a jumbo card. I just um, back it with something, sew around it, um, and you've got a jumbo card. And I, I do use quite a lot of jumbo cards because I do a lot of folios and things like that um, a lot of the pockets are quite big so and it's a good way to use <laughs> you know those last few pages of your, of your kits up and if they're plain pages you can still do the same and then decorate decorate it so that will do for those Give it another ink around. And that's that. So let's have a look at <coughs> these. Let's clear that. Keep that like that. Right, so that's going to be a tag. I've got my trimmer here at the side. So as I'm going through, I shall just straighten them up. So, so that's going to be a journal card. This is going to be a journal card. The reason why I'm saying that is because if you... Oh no, that's going to be a pocket. <coughs> um this one is going to be a journal card because if I cut that out I'm going to cut the December out and I don't I don't want to do that so that's how we're going to sort out who's who and what's what so I think that one's straight this one can be a pocket I'll probably have to make some custom made tags um, to fit to fit these pockets. When I, uh, you know, come to, to use them because they are going to be a bit of a, a weird uh, size. There. Oh, I don't 
you know what, I did that. That's better. So I'll do that on that one. That's fine. So I don't want these all to be pockets. So I will put some over for the tag one. Right, so we've got three, four, so if we have half, half of each, so they're going to be <coughs> journal cards, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick them down and then I will come back to you. Okay, so I've backed all those and I've just got some of my tallest uh, tags which are Artemis and uh, Tracy Fox ones. And actually, they're going to be, the if I use these as pockets, really too big. So I've had a bit of a, another idea um, which I'll come back to in a minute. So let's... Um, do the journal cards first, so it really doesn't matter now for the idea that I have uh, what to use what for. So I thought I just trimmed all these nice. So I think I'm going to use the older looking ones for journal cards. So three, four. Five. So let's pop those to one side. I'll get my corner round out and I think I'm going to do them on the 10, the biggest one, to have a nice um, round. So what easy journal cards these are. Ooh, I don't know about doing that one. So... Have a look in your box and see see what you can use as, as just easy easy journal cards or tags. I'm saying these are gonna look love like. So that's that one. Oh, just caught my finger, my thumb. So all I've backed them with is either card from um, <coughs> packaging, you know, recycling, um, and the cream ones are misprints, and that's 200 GSM cards. So they've got they've got a decent weight to them. So I'm now going to ink around them all. I'm not going to put any tabs on them because I'm thinking they might go into a side pocket and I might want um, a side tab on them because I um, do think that these probably will pull out of something. Um, so for now, I will just leave the tabs. And I don't have any of the normal tabs. I've only got those clipboard um, ones and they don't look as good on the side as, as what they do on the top. So that's that. So I'm just going to add like an extra label just to give them, you know, a bit of dimension. And that will be, be those done. have a look what we can put on on the front might as well get a couple out at the same same time let's do three right so we're looking at these green labels oh, that's pretty 
pretty. That's a possibility. Let me just move these a bit to me. So I've got a nice brown one. That looks nice on there. Too big. About a red one for the barrels. So yeah, I think those three, I'm just going to have just a blank, blank label. So I can always put something else on as you go in to use it. one and once they've got a tab on the side as well and if they are coming out of uh, something they don't want things that can fall off and, and all the rest of it that's that one and then this lovely green one this one's from uh, Shabby Dabby Doodle and the others are from Tracy Fox yeah I like it up, up there so that's those three yep yeah. and then these two I think we'll see if we can put some definition <coughs> on them let's have a look sapling flora grass tree botany like that Like that one there, nature. There we go, and then we'll stick those down. this one then I'm going to pause the video for a minute and get out what I need to do um, those pockets that I've just thought about so I've got five journal cards ready to use now once they've got the tabs on so that's those I'll be back in a tick okay so I've had two ideas for pockets um we'll do uh three for the first um idea so i've got some vellum out and i am just going to cut round it so it's exactly the same size move right, let's do this one I don't think I can get two <coughs> out of one in fact let me do it in that way because I can use that strip for what I want next time so you just make sure that it's butt up I probably clipped it down to make it easier. <coughs> Just twist it around. 
so this vellum is from Amazon and it is on my um, Amazon favourites list if you're curious um, it's not actually <coughs> I don't think this one's classed as vellum I think vellum's in the title but it is tracing paper but it's 100 GSM so it um, it feels like you know it's got the weight of it's not just like a, a piece of um, tracing paper um, it's definitely not like we used to have at school this tracing paper I could have also drawn around it with a pencil that would have been another good idea <laughs> or like I say I could have clipped around it right <coughs> So we've got those four, uh, three, so, um, I think these cards are about the same size <laughs> and I think yeah one side's smoother than the other so I'm going to get the smoothest side and I'm just going to put them together and I'm just going to find the middle and I'm going to see if my um, circle punch will cut through. So I'm going to use the one and a half inch. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's gone through. <coughs> I'm quite surprised. If that hadn't have worked, then I was going to get a piece of card at the back of it so I am going to ink around I have inked the cards And I've got some really thin double-sided tape and I'm going to put that all around the card because I can't remember how well art glitter worked the last time I used it when I used Balan. Um I know I used, <coughs> I've tried it with the, um, the Beacon 3 and one and the art glitter and I think one was okay and the other one um, perished it which I'm guessing that's the three in one um, but yeah I can't remember and I've got a couple of rolls of this thin um, tape what my cousin gave me and I'm just thinking well I might as well use this one, even though it will be more fiddlier than just doing it with, with glue. So I'm going to go up that top bit, like so. And across the bottom. Yeah sticking to me like so I think I'll cut it straight after and then across the top not overlapping any of it so it's easier to get off and I really don't want to go over um, one of the edges so I don't need it down that side because that's going to be the opening so let's Cut that off. So we might as well do them <coughs> all in one go. So I'll start, I'll do the top first. Like so. Down the side, can't see. I think that'll be okay. Down the 
on that. And then and down at the bottom. Last one. bottom and then I'm going to get my um, bone folder <coughs> and give it a good rub round I'll keep that out because I'll use that for the for the next pocket just get the small one out yep don't mark the paper. Right. Hopefully that will be that. Shouldn't use that one. What's that one? Let's try and, in fact, let's match the right one up first. It's probably not going to fit any, is it? Well, I think it, I think it fits that one. I think that's that one. Yeah, okay. <coughs> so I want to take that side. So let's try and peel this off. I haven't got one of them thingy things. I don't know what you call them. People seem to use it to lift off the top, the top layer, and it makes it look really easy. So I've got no no nails either. No, I can't get it on that side. <coughs> that is the only thing and it puts you off using uh, the double sided tape. But I have got about three rolls of it, so that's it. That one too bad. Right now I've got to try and lay this on here. So I'm gonna keep me as much of my hand as possible and I'm going to try and <laughs> try oh, oh it's going to have to go down it's going to have to go oh what a shame so what I'm going to have to do to get around that is, if I put my trimmer away, I'm just going to have to trim it a little bit and just hope that there's enough uh, tape um, under it. Yeah, I thought that was going so well, but... Have a 
look at that. Yeah. So now we've got a pocket, a side pocket. I'm going to put something down there. Um, I wonder if I can put like half a label or something. Let's have a look for the right label. about putting something like that down there. Let me just trim it. So I might put that down there. So I will use the art glitter for that. because I used the double-sided sellotape instead. Okay. So I'll pop that down there. And then I was going to put a vellum flower over the over the top. So let me Got it, got it. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> right, I'll have to do a bit of um, tree surgery. <laughs> so we'll put that there. Like so. And we'll pop that there. Okay. So that's that one and obviously this is your side side pocket. So that's that one. I like that. Right, let's um put the lid on this. Just gonna have a sip of coffee um and then we'll do this one. So yeah, by doing things like this, you know, jazzing up things, it obviously just get you thinking about our best to, to use them. Right, let's... Oh, my finger. I'll stop. Hey. Look at that. 
not some bad bear. <laughs> so that's that one. I'm still gonna put a label and that on them. Then obviously when you stick it down, you can, you know, have a side or a side or a, or a top still. Right. Let's have a, a flora. And can I want to use this white one because this has started to get a little bit um, crushed up. So I'm thinking if, if the plastic you know comes off it and then it starts sticking onto something something else so i think it'd be best to to get that one used i got a bit of a goober there i wonder if that's what was up with that i think i'm gonna have that there right so that's that and let's undo this that one a bit just to do that white down yeah lovely so that's two and then this third one Oh, you know, I've just put my finger in that. I didn't think I'll be going to be able to lift it up. That's that. And then this one. Sorry if I keep going down. I can say the natural thing is to draw everything to yourself. That's it. Right, let's see if we can get this one on with no no fuss. got left on me dob it right so that's that let's pop those away let's see what flower we've got oh that's nice I think I'll use that don't really go there does it because they're quite um like wild flowers Lopsided. So pop that down. Like so. And then 
way at it then. Yeah, I've got it. I did have it. <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, that made my eyes water. Right. That's that one. Lovely. That did feel a little bit sticky down there. So I'm just going to trim a slight bit off, off here. So I've got three pockets, I've got two jumbo tags, cards, and then what do we have? Five or six, five um, journal cards, and then we're going to make some, excuse me, um, some other pockets. So let's find the width. Do it from the other side. So I am going to get my pencil and I'm going to mark it there. So I'm just going to put that down. Okay. And if I cut fold it in half because what I'm trying to do is get the pockets for both of them just out of this what's left over so I'll put that in half now I could either have one pocket at the front which I'm going to do that one like that so I don't I'm not going to put should I put a thumb hole in that? Yeah, 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 well. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm just cutting a little one. Let's see if it'll, see if it'll do that. Yeah. So I think a bit more ink. I think this time I'm going to stick the sticky to the pocket. Okay. So I want some down here. Then down the bottom. I was going to try and take that up and put it further but of course when I tried to lift it um, the top bit was coming off I 
the man you want it's come off oh no oh no that in did I? Right. So let's line it up at the bottom. There we go. And what I'm going to do is round round the corners. So I'm going to do it at the tan. Like so. So just ink around again. Just round those corners. So that's another pocket. And there we go. And then the next one. Might as well round the top ones now. Let's uh, ink around. Come ready for it. a new dabber, a, a new sponge. I did buy some replacement ones. Right, so that's that. Then where's our piece gone? Haha, -ha, it is here. So that's it lengthways. And then I'm just going to fold it in half. And I'm going to cut it with the trimmer. Like so. I'm going to put the top one on first. And then the bottom one, like so. I am I'm not going to put a thing in and I'm gonna keep that bottom open so you can have something longer in and it will go uh, to the bottom. So maybe yeah. Let's just try doing it with this because then <clears throat> when I use the vellum again I'll be able to remember well I'll try and remember because I'm just thinking the things on the front stuck well enough but obviously you don't know what they look like underneath obviously it will end up drying clear so just straighten that. I don't know why I didn't ink it. Let me ink the top of this because it does help you be able to, to see. Like so. And then the bottom one I will glue sides and bottom so that's that see if that's on straight yep so that's that and then I'm going to Round the bottom corners, but I'm just going to do those at seven. Let's give it a bit more of a dub dub dub. Right, we'll just put a little a little label on on here. Maybe something like that. I don't know if I've got um. 
small sticker. It's a small one. Let's put that on. In fact, I'm going to put that down first. Okay. And I'll get this one. Well, I think that was a real good session. It did go well over the 30 minutes, but I do think we did we did a lot more in this one. Let's just cut a little bit off at the bottom. So that's that. Um, yeah, really, really pleased with them. So we've got different ones. I need to put something on that one. That one, and then we've got cards and and that. Let me just put something on that now. Now. Um. Isn't it for, for that? Can I go that? These are my green ones. I've separated like the more floral, uh, so that's why I've just took that out because it needs going in that in the other one now i have got these vellum stickers so if i go out so i've not used any i have those from in love arts It's not straight and it's not. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it straight. <coughs> I might do it at the side. No, I'm not doing that. Um, yeah, way too difficult to do that on camera. Um, right, let's forget about that. So, I'm going to go with that. Yeah, because, I mean, it has to be middle, there and there. It's oof, way too much. Right, let's get a, a label or something. Of horticulture. Yeah. So I've got lots of stuff to go in my finished basket. So I'll try and come on once a week and grab another and full and see what we can make. And I do like that everything's inked and the tags that I've done, they've already got the, the tops on. As soon as I got some more, um, I forget what they're called. Um, oh my goodness me. Yeah, I'm glad I decided to do this last one. 
I bet you are too, aren't you? I bet you're thinking, yeah, I'm glad she decided to do this one. Oh, right. Page tabs, that's what I was going to say. But they're not page tabs, are they? Tabs. Just tabs. <laughs> so, yeah, when I get some tabs, I should put them uh, on the journal cards. Right, that's that. So, thank you very much for joining me, and I shall see you very soon. Bye for now.